Susan. I don't think either of you are gonna be okay. <laughs> Time for a romantic dinner with a dead girl, and I'm the only one eating. Ugh, what a loser! He already materialized on her on her own. Wait, she was here? Yes, and she left the ghost tank. Did she disappear back to the ghost world? No, 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 she left. I think she went out looking for you, actually. But that's impossible. But if she is out there, I can use this to track her. I guess dinner will have to wait. So what did this thing even do? What does it do? Well, I'll tell ya. It tracks specific strains of ectoplasmic residue. And that will lead us to Pete? My sister? It should. Hmm. Sea Rock 106 plays today's most rockin' music. Now where's my cash? Beatrice speaking. Beatrice? We got another nasty murder on our hands. I need you and Charlinka to get down to that murder scene pronto! No, Chief, we don't have time right now. We are in the middle of tracking down an important lead. No? I'll let you know when we have time. Jeez. Yeah, later, Gator. Was that the Chief? He was the Chief. I thought so. I thought I could hear his mustache rubbing all over the phone. He wants us to check out another murder around town, but I told him we don't have the time. Yes, we know. We could hear the whole conversation. You know, you don't need to repeat everything that just happened. Hey, Charlie, why don't you leave the police work to the detectives and zip it until we ask for your opinion? I have a present for you! <laughs> Deputy Sidra! That scrapbook son of a bitch is all over this town murdering people left and right! And those goofballs, Charlinka and Beatrice, they're on some ghost chase. I need those idiots to get to those murder scenes and do their goddamn jobs! Agreed, Chief. It's a shame there's absolutely no other officers that could possibly do this. Who's agreeing now? It's me, with you. Damn them and their special talents. If only I would have kept that cloning machine. Excuse me, sir? Just you never mind. Now go get me a stack of hot cakes before I fire your ass. Yes, sir. Right away, sir.
Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be Pete Glossy, would you? Yeah, that's me, and you're the detectives who are trying to solve my murder, right? Well, yes, but how did you know? Well, actually, I was there in my house when you found my body, but you couldn't see me then. I guess something happened, and now I'm a real person again. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, I can guarantee that you're here with us now, but unfortunately, you're still definitely dead. I, I don't understand. What my dearest and oldest friend is trying to say is that you are in fact a zombie. Oh, do you think my body will deteriorate? Not if I can perfect my latest invention, the formaldehyde smoothie. Casey, I'm so happy to see you. I was back in the ghost tank and all of a sudden I was solid and you went there and I, I didn't know what to do. It's all good now, except you are a bit cold and clammy and devoid of all life. Okay, easy there. I'm not devoid of feelings, you know. It was I that brought you back, and we need your help to catch your murderer. Okay, but who are all you guys? I'm Beatrice, and this is my partner Charlene Ka, and this is Pete's brother, Charlie. No, that's not my brother. I haven't seen this man before in my life. That's right. I'm not your brother. No, nobody move a muscle. Well, who are you? I come from the future, and I needed to find out what was happening with my plan. You were an unexpected death, Pete, and I wanted to find out why. Do you know something about these murders? I know everything about these murders. I am responsible for these murders! Are you the killer? Fools! I've been using scrapbooks to kill a specific group of people who are responsible for wrecking humanity! So you're from the future, and you're using a ghost of a serial killer from the 1980s to kill innocent people in order to save the world? Yes! I am a hero! Maybe you should tell us a little more about what happens in the future to necessitate such an extreme solution. In the future, a portal is built that leads to another world trillions of light years away from Earth. Soon, Earth is overrun by these aliens. Do they all invade us and kill us all? In, in a way. They come here and take our job and mate with our people and create new disgusting half-breeds and many humans go to the alien world and procreate with them as well. The whole thing is disgusting and I'm here to make sure it stops before it starts. Scrapbook's mission is to kill all the people who are responsible for the creation of this portal! Oh, I get it. You're just a filthy racist from the future. I'm a humanist, and I want to keep our planet free of these beasts. But Pete here wasn't on that list of people Scrapbook was meant to kill. So, so I came to investigate. C Rock 106 plays today's most rockin' music. Now, where's my cash? Feature speaking. Not now, Chief! Do you really think that you could control the maniac ghost scrapbook? Seriously, I don't have time for freaking racists. Put your hands up. What the hell was that? A death ray of some kind. All zombies and civilians stay here. Beatrice? Let's go get this time-traveling piece of bigoted humanist garbage. A chocolate. Let's jelly roll. Oh, this is an unlikely turn of events. What do we do now? I'm gonna have to go back to the lab and come up with some kind of a plan.
So what we need is a definitive plan to stop all of the craziness. I agree. I mean, if Beatrice and Charlene can catch this guy, Charlie, that's part of the problem solved. But there's still the matter of a serial killer ghost with somehow the power to kill people. Do you think it's possible for us to stop him while he's in the act of killing someone? I don't think so. He has this power, not us. I mean, it would be like trying to catch a cloud. Your face is a cloud. Pardon? Never mind. Um, so, what it sounds like is that we have to stop him while he's on the other side. Maybe. But I don't know what we could do. In the ghost world, he's insanely powerful. I mean, sometimes he's even a dragon. A dragon? A I know, right? There has to be a way to stop this. We just haven't figured it out yet. It's over, Chuck! There's no escape! There's always an escape! Are you okay? I'm oh, alright. He just got my hand. Hurts like a tune malt Sunday, though. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, he's doing dead. Really dead. Okay. Um, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about it. Alright, I'm having a first aid kit in the car, okay. so you're gonna go there, but um, I'll meet you there. We gotcha. So basically, it's like we're gonna all go out to the mountains and live together while we build this wormhole portal. It's like a dream come true. I'm really happy for you, but it's gonna suck losing you as a roommate. I know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll try and help you find someone who's not psycho to move it. Excuse me, ladies, but is one of you Vanessa Jaguar? I'm Vanessa. Excellent! I'm in the right place then. See you right here on my list. That's a list of all of my colleagues. Vanessa, maybe we should go in. Oh, Kayla, there's nothing to worry about. This is official business. How do you know my name? I'm not on your list, am I? Not this particular list, but I do have another very secret list. It kind of just has everyone on it. Uh, Kayla, I think you're right. I think we should uh, go inside. Thanks, mister. Oh, don't leave just yet! We're starting to see eye to eye! Oh.